Hi, my name is Sherry Miller, and today I'm going to show you how to take three images and put them into a triptych. Today I've selected three images that I have that are all the same image. They are all square images, but they all have slightly different coloring on them. So we've got one, two, and three. And I want to have them side by side in a horizontal type of a triptych here. And so first what I need to do is figure out, is make sure that all of the sizes, all of the image sizes are the same. So how to do that is go up to image and go down to image size. And it'll tell you your width and your height right here. And I noticed that this is 7.113. I think I want them all to be kind of an even number today. So I'm gonna change that to seven inches by seven. So we're good on that one and let's check the other ones. This one, the image size so far is same 7.113, but let's change that to an even seven. Okay, and the last one, got one more. Let's see how big it is. I may have changed this one already and I have. The width is seven and the height is seven. So now I've got three square images that are all the same size. Now I just need to start first with one of the images. And I needed to figure out a little bit of uh, geometry ahead of time to figure out my dimensions for the entire thing. And so what I'm going to attempt to do this time is to take these seven by seven squares and put them into a horizontal image, so three across. And I think I'll put about, um, we'll try an inch in between each side. So my canvas as a whole should be, should be 25 inches wide by about nine inches tall. So going back up to image, this time I'm going to go down to canvas size. That's gonna be the full size of the image. And instead of it seven by seven, which is the same, same size as the image there, I'm gonna change that to the width of 25 inches and height of nine. Down at the bottom, you've got the canvas extension color, which you always have the options of white, black, and gray. Those are automatically there, but you can also play around with the foreground and the background color, which are these colors over here that you can select using the eyedropper earlier. Um, however, that's a different tutorial, so I'm not going to deal with that today. I'm just going to select one of the common ones here, which is black. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit okay, and what you're gonna see happening is, let's get this so you can see it all, is I've got this one image there, which is great. It's right there in the center, I'm doing well. However, I'm missing the images over on this side and on this side. So going back over to one of my other images, I'm gonna click on that, and what I wanna do is select this image and copy it. So to do that, you can use the shortcut of Control A, which will select the entire thing. And then I'm going to use Control C, which copies it. So again, Control A will select the entire image and then Control C will copy that and hold that for you. Okay, so we're back to the original image over here. And what I have done here is I've got the ruler set up so I can see exactly how long this is and then I can get my measurements right. So I did that by hitting view and then I went down to ruler and I clicked on that to make sure that that's showing there. Okay, so now I've got that other image copied and it's just waiting to be pasted somewhere. So I'm going to come down and I need to select an area for it to be pasted into. And so I'm gonna go over to my rectangular marquee tool over here and click on that. I've got the feather down to zero pixels because I don't need to have any kind of um, shape on it right now. I just want an even square. And I had mentioned that I wanted it to be one inch away from each of the borders. So I'm gonna bring my cursor down to here where I've got the one inch mark as, and over to right there, get that about even. It's sometimes tricky to do that. Okay, sometimes we'll line it up. You can see where it lines up evenly. It'll give me the purple line when it's right in the center. Okay, so I've made a square right next to the other one. Okay, 
Now all we need to do, Control V will paste that image in. So let me hit Control V and I've got the other image in. Now we just need to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So again, I've got my rectangular marquee tool selected right here. Bring it over to the other side, go over an inch away from this one to give some space in between. And I'm going to make another square. And again, it'll get you right in the middle when it does the purple line there. And let's try right There we go. Now I haven't copied the other image yet, so if I hit Control V, which I'll try right now, oh, I've got the same image that I've got over here, but I want to have that other color. So hit Control Z, which will undo a step. Again, Control Z undoes a step. And let's go back to that third image that we've got. There we go. And if you can remember, to select all of the image to make the entire image active, Active for begins with A, hit Control A, and we'll select all of that. And then I can hit Control C for copy to copy that entire image. So it's copied now, going back to our first image now. And hit Control V, which will paste it in. And there you go. We've got the three images all there in a triptych. Thanks for watching. Here's an addendum. Uh-oh, look at this image. When I pasted it in, it wasn't in the right spot. Do I have to start all over or can I fix it from here? Well, fortunately, you can actually fix it from here. You'll notice on the right-hand side that we've got all the different layers here being seen. And you'll notice it's this one, which is layer one written over here that has the image on there. That's the one we wanna deal with because it's not lining up with the other ones. It's not behaving. So what I'm going to do to move it is, first of all, I need to select just that area of the image. And I do that by going over to the Quick Selection tool right here. And using the Quick Selection tool, you notice up at the top, you've got the brush here in a lot of different, you've got one with no plus or minus, one with a plus, and one with a minus. This one is a general one. That will kind of take the obvious edges of a selection. The add one will add areas that maybe it didn't pick up in the first case. The subtraction one will subtract any area that you didn't want to pick up. Okay, so I'm going to select the general one. It does a pretty good job usually. So I've got that one selected. Again, that's the quick selection tool, selecting the one without the plus or the minus on it. And I'm going to go down into that image and I'm going to click and move my cursor along to pick up everything in that image. I want to select the entire part of just that image. Okay, so we've got it and it's picking it up as a square. Now we want to move that a little bit. So by going up and we're going to move off the selection tool because it's already selected and go to this area up here which is the move tool and I'm going to click on that and when I bring that back down now, if I click anywhere on that active image right there, the one with the little marching ants going around, if I click and I hold it, I can move this around. I could put it on top of the other images if I wanted to. I could put it behind another layer. But you know what? I just want a regular triptych, so I'm going to come over here. And notice these purple lines are fabulous. They will tell me where it will line up with the other images, so I don't end up with that really skewed line again. So I'm going to come down here, place it where I think it goes, and then let off. Now it's still selected, but all you have to do to get rid of the marching ants is hit Control D for deselect. You don't want anything selected again. And there you go. You've moved that piece and you've got it back into line with the others. Thanks for watching. I'm Sherry Miller.